walk inside of Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I'm here. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Everything okay? We got ready to start.
Okay, welcome. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you. I hope all of you feel really nice. Hello, Laura. Hi, teacher. How do you feel today, Laura? <laughs> Sorry. No. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no tenía conectado el microphone. <laughs> how, how do you feel today? I, I am tired. Uh, with more weather. <laughs> and how is the weather in your area? Yes, the el clima, pero the weather is hot. <laughs> it is hot now. It's hotter, hot, hotter, 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 hotter. ¿Cómo se pronuncia cal, cal, cálido, caluroso? It could be warm. Water, okay. No, warm. Warm, okay, teacher. But also, uh, all the pen on the degrees that you have could be that is hot. Repeat, okay. teacher. No, Carlos Escobar, what about you? How do you feel today, sir? I'm ready, teacher. Okay. You, Saira. What about you? Oh. Saira. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. How do you feel today? Tell me. My day. I'm was tired. Really tired, really pretty busy. Very busy. A lot of work. A lot of work to do, okay. Yeah. Let me see how many we have nine now. Okay, Wendy, what about you, Wendy? How do you feel today? How do you feel today, Wendy? I feel happy because my mother uh, um, my mother she 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 is better Oh, help. Okay, she, she, she feels better. Yes, help better. And next, no. Yesterday, no. The week, we, <clears throat> past week? Last week, she okay. very, very sick. She was very and, sick. Yes, yeah, she was, sorry. She, she was she very was, sick. She was very sick uh, because this, this week, she, she is very, she better. She feels, better. she feels, she feels better. She feels, she feels she feel better. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Jonathan, what about you, Jonathan? 
I'm tired of the world was um, hard, but I'm ready to, to uh, receive the class. Okay, thank you, sir. Anna Lillian, what about you, Anna Lillian? It's not there, Anna Lillian. Maria Concepcion, Yesenia, Diana. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. How do you feel today? Uh, I'm tired. I'm sick. I have a fever. You got fever? Um, fever. Yes. And I have a headache. My goodness. You got headache too? You need yes. to see the doctor. You need to see the doctor. <laughs> yes. Um, no, teacher. No. No. Oh, okay. It's up to you. In my case, I, I got something like a uh, soul drop. For that reason, uh, I don't want to, to talk too much today. You are going to be the ones in charge to tell me what you think. And also, you are going to read and practice reading and discuss and do something related with the topic. Okay, let me check out the attendance now. Ana Lilia no, no me respondió. Yesenia Lisset, she already told me. Diana is there. Ana Lilia is there too. Estaba bañando el niño, teacher. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. Estoy aquí. Muy bien, teacher. The listener ahora, así que no le vamos a, a molestar. Okay, Ana Lilia. I'm here too, teacher. Excuse me? Diana? Uh, Diana, I'm here too. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Good. Okay, Diana, how do you feel today, Diana? Uh, <laughs> a little tired. A little tired? Yeah, I need the weekend. You need to rest on weekend, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you can go to the beach and relax and do something different. Yeah, okay. And Anna Lillian was taking care of her kids. Or only is one. Yeah, it's one. Okay, Maria is there. Maria Concepcion. Okay, let me check out the tennis now. We are going to start talking about the topic. But before I need to check up, Adriana. Are you there? No, I don't see. Okay. Here, Ana Beatriz. Well, some of, some, some of you are kind of sick today. Maybe it, it is caused the weather. What to do with the weather? The reason why you feel uh, in a different mood. Ana Lilian is here. Escobar. Escobar. Selena. I don't see Selena. Present. Selena is coming now. Okay, Selena, welcome. Diana. Okay. Diana. Diana. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eric. Present. Thank you, sir. Francis. Francis Elizabeth Martinez. Now here. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present, mister. He's there. Okay. Welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas. It's not here. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Ahí está la niña Laura. 
María Concepción. Present teacher. María Concepción is here. Eh, María Elena. No, no yet. Okay. Somebody rose and tenant the shot. Let me see who is it. Yesenia. I don't arrive at the point yet. Mm -hmm. Be careful, be careful. If you are driving, you need to be careful. Yes. Present teacher. Ah, is there, Yesenia? Present. Okay. Maria Elena no está. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto, I don't see you here. Well, later on. Mayra Veralice is there. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, lady. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay, is there too? Eh, Santo Misael. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, sir. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima Santos Chavez. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I don't know what, what is happening with her. Maybe six. Yes, and Elisette. Is Present teacher. Okay, thank you. I got it. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well. Whoa, 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 whoa. What can I do? What can I do? Okay, let me share it. This. Okay, um, today we are going to see some tools, a checklist to hire a CPL provider and discuss. This is class number 13. And uh, we are going to start developing the topic. Welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. I hope that all of you feel really nice in order to interact and talk about what what been doing we've been talking about uh, in the previous classes. Let us uh, remember just an aspect that we studied yesterday. I would like to hear. Hello. We was talking about the benefits of TPL. Okay, we were talking. We were talking about CPL. Okay. Key points. Okay, somebody else, tell me. The expression with this certainty. Uncertainty. Okay, we have started and also we resolved some exercises related with that. And uh, by the way, we are going to use it today in an activity that you are going to perform. So try to keep in mind how we are going to use it. What do you remember about that? Let us see. What do you remember about that? Somebody, somebody tell me. Hello. Somebody. 
Some ideas, some ideas. <clears throat> when we are going to use commas? And when we are not going to use commas, do you remember that? We are, we are going to use commas when or after an expression uh, that is preceded a close. Do you remember? And when we use the word doubt or a very unlikely or likely, we are not going to use commas, right? What else do you remember? What else do you remember? Hello. Remember that today we are going to continue with this uh, design topic and we are going to cover so another aspect. That for that reason, I need that you remember the previous knowledge about this topic. What else? Hello. Okay. Let us uh, refresh your memory. We are going to continue talking with this topic. Uh, Today, we are going to work in exercise number six, so the page number 22, that before that you talk about distribution need of a successful international company, and also that you think of their possible need, uh, we are going to continue talking about the 3PL, and then this, they uh, we are going to have more detail and later on we are going to as an we get all the concept and all the information we are going to start working on it to ensure that you are getting the most out of uh, your current or future cpl relationship here's a checklist of the steps you should follow I need that you get familiar with this because what, what, what I'm going to show you is uh, some step that we need to follow in order to, 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 to decide which CPL company are you going to choose or select. Okay, the first one, who wants to read it? Volunteers, please. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm going to read it now. Why are why you're outsourcing logistics? It is a question. No. Why you uh, you're outsourcing logistics? This 
might seem obvious. You are absorbing logistic to save time and money, right? But what are your goals for your business and how does 3PL fit into them? This is a really interesting question. If I ask you this question to you, what can you tell me about? You can relate it with your, your company, with your job. How to do with goals? Tell me. You need to have a really clear your goals of your business. And in that way, you are going to look for the better CPL in order to fix into your goals. Okay, I need that uh, you participate, please. You need to ask yourself why uh, you're choosing CPL over alternatives such as drop shipping or running the process in a, in a how. If you choose the outsource your logistic but don't have the size or scale to justify it, you are bound to have a poor relationship with your CPL partner. When we talk about drop shipping, uh, I don't know, if maybe it's the first time that you hear this term. Uh, when we talk about this, we are talking about all the company that uh, they, send their product in uh, to the um, let me see the name I, I I got it in my in the tip of my tongue retailers you know to retailer that is called a, a drop shipping you got it son pedidos minoristas Pedidos minoristas. For that reason, you need to ask yourself why you are choosing CPL. But I need that you tell me something about what I'm talking about because I don't want to be here just uh, reading and explaining something and you, you don't want to participate and give your point of view. I invite you to do it. I know uh, some of you are tired, but if you try to participate and that way you are going to feel active in the class. What can you tell me about it? In my case, our value proposal is give a response in less than three days. So we contract a TPL in a messenger service that help us to, to supply these, these needs. Okay. Excellent. Okay, let us see another characteristic. Upline your CPL expectation. What is that? Who wants to read it?
volunteers. Miss uh, Rubin, right? Go ahead. If I have to read this. The shopping? Yeah. Yeah, read, please. Outline your PPL expectations. Prior to searching for a PPL partner, you should generate a list of services you are looking for and the expectations you have. Okay, hold yes. on there. Every hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Hold on there. I need that we think in this part before. What comes to your mind when you read? You should generate a list of services you are looking for and the expectation you have. What is that? You have to make like a checklist of what you need. Uh, example, uh, the services, how much you are going to, to have in the distribution. So what kind of, of trucks you need or the quality or the price. Okay. You need to have all the uh, all the aspects that you uh, need in order to reach your goal, and based on that, you are going to choose the best option. Okay, continue reading, please. Yes, every e-commerce business will prefer that the three PL partner work over time and hire additional staff around Black Friday. But is the associated cost worth your business? Here are some expectations to consider. Yes. Size, of, size and scope of services. Range of cost. Expect handling times. Expect benefits. Expect growth. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to read just some part of the concept. Every e-commerce business could prefer that their 3PL partner were over time and hire additional staff around Black Friday and maybe on Christmas, but it is associated costs worse with your business. What does mean associated costs? extra time they work. Mm, could be. And that means that the company uh, are going to pay more money, right? And that, that means that they are going to have more expenses. Okay, but also uh, they are going to consider the size and the scope of the services they are going to need. And based on that, they are going to think maybe uh, in the in, in, in the best staff that they need. And also they need to see the cost, if they are going to pay a lot of money or not. And also uh, they need to take into account the expected handling time, if they are going to be able to move all the merchandise in the right time. And also they need to see the benefit that they are going to have. And if uh, all that is going to help the company to grow, you know, that is uh, basic in order to take into account all these aspects. But somebody else can tell us something related with that. Who?
when this when we say uh, the title upline your CPL expectation, what is an upline? Hello. This is really important that you understand. What is the meaning of this word? Upline. Linear teacher. Could be, but um, I need uh, another verse. The list. Ah, oh, okay, close, close. It's like the limit. Ah, oh, okay. Somebody else? We can have different synonyms. This were upline. Contorno. Mm, yeah, could be, could mean that too. But in this case, upline. I remember this word because I, uh, when I was attending uh, a subject. Teacher, is a borderline? It is? borderline yeah could, could 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 be that too when when i uh when i used the word upline i remember when i was attending uh composition one and two in english at uh, the moment that we start writing uh the teacher asked us to create an upline before in order to start with the main ideas to put an idea and so on and right here, uh, when we talk about upline, it, it is just that we are going to make a list in order to consider all the, the important aspects that we are going to take into account. Um, at the moment that we are going to decide for the CPL service. Okay. I don't know if somebody have, has uh, any questions so far from here. No question, okay. Let us continue with the next one, please. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Research triple partners that fit your business, your e-commerce, business at a specific value to the market and, and so does every TPL provider. Through your own research, you should be able to find a few TPL providers that match what are you looking for. Based on your business's current and the future expectations, particularly with regret to fulfillment. After you found some potential trivial partners, you need to conduct a, a background check. Most of this should be easy to do online. First, check for any case studies, reference, or reviews. This should be available either or on their site or on review sites. Next, check to the to see how long they they been a business and if they have any long term clients, a long standing business with long term client is a proof of success. Okay, I I I believe I think that all of you understand the meaning of the word research. As of now, you see it. That means that you need to investigate to get the background knowledge re uh, related with the service that you are going to acquire. And 
the reading set that you can do it uh, in the website or maybe uh, you can look for another way to, to get the information and reference also. Or maybe um, another company is uh, distributing the same product as you and you got a friend or somebody else and can share some idea related with the company. That is the main point here. But I don't know if you want to, to add something else. Remember, maybe uh, to your business are going to, to arrive a lot of people uh, offering services, you know, but you need to be careful about it. For that reason, uh, right here, we are saying that you need to research and ask for extra information related with the business. And at the end of the, the paragraph, we can find something that said, a long standing business with long-term client is proof of success. What does mean? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Hello. I need your participation, please. Hello, 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 wake up, wake up. Are you reading? Que no you... Que quiere, Hola. No, no sé, no le entendí qué es lo que deseaba. Ah, okay. In the last line, en la última línea del párrafo, Dice, a long standing business with long-term client is proof of success. What is that? Tell me in another words. It is something that you are going to take into account at the moment that you are going. Mm. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Uh, at the moment that somebody, uh, or maybe your company is going to choose the services as CPL. No ideas? Oh. Yeah. Uh, perhaps teacher the contract uh, between uh, the provide between a uh, 3PL service for company uh, in the time digamos uh, period uh, for uh, long time three years i got your point i got your point
But what I need is that at the moment that somebody else is reading, I need that you follow with the reading. And that way you are going to understand what we are talking about. I recommend you that. Le recomiendo que cuando alguien comience a leer, ustedes vayan acompañando la lectura eh, para que de esa manera podamos comprender de qué estamos hablando. And try to get the main idea of the paragraph. And that way you are going to get information. Okay. We were talking about uh, the background information, that the background uh, that the company need to have in order to to be trustful, you know. And that way, we are going to see if uh, if they they have clients with uh, a long time been doing uh, business with them. That is what we need to do. Okay, any comment related with this? No? Hello? Okay, what about this one? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Come to an agreement, coming to an agreement is more than just signing paperwork and moving forward. Okay, hold on there. I need that you explain me or somebody else explain me what, what that mean. Coming to an agreement is more than just signing papers or moving forward. At the moment that you decide to contract uh, a service, you sign something, but uh, there is something now. I don't know. Is action is not only um, the sign a contract is more is action. I don't know. Okay. Imagine that you need to switch your internet service. And in order to do that, you are going to research, you are going to investigate if the company that you are going to contract uh, is better than the one that you have. After you got all the information with your neighbor, with your boss or with your friend, you decide and said, okay, uh, I'm going to get an agreement with with this company and they give you some paper and you sign it and what happened next? That's it, it is only just to sign the paper and that's it, what do you need to do? So, I don't know if you are if you are getting my message. I think it's to be aligned with the provider because uh, they have to fulfill all my all my interest and I have to be clear of what I want and if they can do that for me. Because if I'm only seeing a paper, I don't know if they are going to be able to to do all the things I want. 
and I'm not going to to have a good experience with them. Okay, we need to be careful about. At the moment that we are going to sign a paper, we need to read uh, even the small letter, you know? Okay, you and your CPL partners should be in complete arrangement on your process so that not confusion arise down the road, particularly with other fulfillment since that's a high priority. Okay. Suddenly at the moment that you sign, you tend to forget something. And when you need it, they are going to say, no, we are we are not covered. We are going, we are not going to cover what you are asking for. Imagine that you uh, need to switch the company of cable, you know? And you say, okay, I'm going to try with Claro. But in your house, you have uh, three television set. But at the moment that you sign the contract, you don't ask then if the contract is going to let you have connection for the three television set. And they give you just uh, one box in order and one control, only uh, for a television. But that is going to happen after you sign. For that reason, uh, you need to be really clear. I don't know if you got my point. Hello. I'm going to continue reading. At this point, you should also work with your new CPL partner to determine a work a workable time timetable, you set your expectation prior to your search for a CPL partner, and you should ensure they're on the same page, you know? And in other words, you need to uh, speak the same language with your company in order to avoid misunderstanding at the end. Okay, any comment? Um, also teacher, um, it's the commitment from the company to complete the, and offer the right service. As I guess that's the idea behind that phrase. Uh, yes. the commitment with With the customer. Most cut it is, but you need to, to put everything on the table before uh, sign the contract. That is the point, that is the point. Okay, what about this one? After you sign, what you need to do next. Who wants to read it? Okay, I'm going to look for somebody in the list because if I said, who wants to read it? Anybody wants to read it and I need that you practice. Okay, good, good now, good. Maintain your TPI partnership in a perfect, a perfect world. The partnership between you and your TPL will be mutual, mutually beneficial and have no book with bumps bumps with regard to other full full 
timing, of course, that is always the, the case. case. If you ever feel that the rela relationship is no longer benefit, benefiting your business, your peers, relation should, shouldn't be to put your partner loss, loss in, in the intake you should try to find common ground again their resources and fix and gap in communication. Okay, thank you. In a perfect world, the partnership between you and your 3PL will be mutually beneficial and have no bounds with regard to other fulfillment. Of course, that's, that isn't always the case. If you ever feel that the relationship is no longer benefit, benefiting your business, your first reaction shouldn't be to cut your partner loss. In test, instead, you should try to find common ground again, get reassurance and fix any gap in communication. This is really important that we take into account. We need to or look for a solution uh, before to decide to, to stop, continue with, 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 that, with something like that, you know? Okay, what about this one? Maida, can you read it, please? Read me. Be open to negotiation. Goals change on your TPL service should be able to scale and adjust properly to align with your new objectives. That's why it's often best to find a TPL partner that has more tools that you current, currently need. Your TPL partner should also be open to discussing your current supply chain change strategy and finding the best solution. While some e commence, commence business outground, TPL partners order other just need to renegotiate the scope of service. Okay, thank you. Be open to negotiating. Goal chain and your CPL service should be able to scale and adjust properly to align with you, with your new objectives. That's why it's often best to find a CPL partner that has more tools than you currently need. Take into account this. Your CPL partner should also be open to discuss your current supply chain strategy and finding the best solution while some e commerce businesses uproar. CPL partner others just need to renegotiate the scope of service. In other words, you need to be able to talk with uh, the company that you are going to contract. 
And that way uh, you are going to have all the equipment that you need and you are going to feel in good conditions. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. I need to see how many people do I have now. And I invite you to have a dictionary with you because there are a lot of new terms maybe for you. Let me check out the attendance. Um, okay. Adriana. Adri. Adri. It's not here. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Escobar. Present. Selina. Present. Diana. Present. Eric. Present. Francis. Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mayra. Present teacher. Okay. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleim. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. So far away, but I am busy. Okay, let us switch a little bit. Um, Okay, we miss uh, three more aspects, I guess. But in order to relax a little bit, we are going to switch the, later on we are going to talk about schedule visit and measure CPL success. Uh, okay, let us, let us discuss this, moving to a foreign country. Uh, you are going to read the questions in of two more questions to add to the list, then take your asking and answering the question. Uh, in group, imagine that we are going to work uh, in group. Who wants to read the first question? Quien desea leer la primera pregunta? Okay, tell me. Okay, uh, maybe you need to get closer to your microphone in order that we can hear it in a better way. Okay, the first question said, what country would you like to live in and why? 
What about the second one? Hello. Hey, what country would I to like to live in and why? Thank you. Next one. Who is the person you would most like to go abroad with? Okay, who is the person you would most like to go abroad and abroad with? Next one, I don't need to say next one. No, teacher. What is something you will never travel with, with them? Without, without. What is something you would never travel without? Okay, I'm going to continue reading because uh, I, I need that uh, you get the, this information because we are going to switch a little bit. Who is the person you good email for after arriving somewhere, somewhere new? Okay, next one. Who wants to read it? What will be your two greatest concerns about living abroad? What will be your greatest concerns about living abroad? And the last one, please. What is the thing you would enjoy the most about living abroad? Okay, what is the thing you would enjoy the most about living abroad? Of course, we got a lot of questions here. Uh, you are going to work in groups. Let me, uh, if you if you want, so please try to make an, a screenshot now or a picture or whatever. You want to call it? Hagan una captura, por favor. Do you finish? Hello. Ready. Okay. It is, uh, it is just uh, in order that you can switch your mind and you are going to speak about another topic, right? So please try to participate. We have different questions. Um, you are going to decide if you are going to ask at least three questions. And you are going to, to share the info uh, later on. Let me see how many people do I have, only at 13. Okay, but I got uh, only, let me see. I guess one listener or two, I'm not pretty sure. Somebody's connecting. Miss, I have lost the connection. That is here again. Okay, I got 14. In order that you can talk I guess it's going to be better in pairs. Let me see.
well, I guess it's better in three. And only one is gonna be. Okay, uh, do you have the, the screenshot? Yes, oh, okay. Let me see, I'm going to give you enough time in order that you can speak about. Okay, here we go, try to participate. Teacher, oh. in one dispositive, I have um, group number one and the other group number four. And which one do you want to have the process then? Um, number one. Number one.
Okay. Welcome. Let me see. If you are a good communicator. Okay, let, let me let me ask to Misael. Could you share uh, with the class the information that you share with your partner? My answers or no her... his or her answer. Uh, it means her answer. Yes. All oh, right. I was talking with Saida and she answered the first question. What country would you like to live in? She said uh, Portugal because of, it's very beautiful. And uh, also she answered the second question. What country would you like to live in? And she said Mexico. Okay, uh, and she didn't tell you the reason why? No, no, uh, at that point, the time was over. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. What about you, Saira? Teacher. Hello. I not write uh, the answer the missile. Try to remember, try to remember. I'm, I'm testing your mind, your memory, you know? <laughs> don't worry about it. It's bad, my memory. Ah, uh, no, no, I don't think so. It's pretty good. Okay, let me see somebody else then. I'm going to give you the opportunity to remember. Okay, let us see. Um, Salina, what can you tell us? Hi, okay, I was talking with Eric. Uh, he would like to live in the United Kingdom because of the weather. And he wouldn't like to live in Venezuela because that travels there. If he traveled with someone, he would like to travel with her girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, who's the person he will email first after he arrives somewhere? His mom. Okay. The greatest concern about living abroad is whether he can buy food or if he's going to to have a job. Uh, what he must enjoy of living abroad is meeting new places and the gastronomy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to ask uh, Eric because he's a listener. Maybe he's busy now. I'm going to switch um, and look for somebody else. Let me see. Uh, what about you, Jose Jonathan? Jonathan, Jonathan. It's not here, it's not here. Okay, uh, let us see Maria Elena Guadalupe. Tell me. Um, I am remember and um, answer Laura about the country good he like. She likes. She likes. She likes. He like, he like, um, is Japan. The reason uh, why? For tradition, I think so. 
Culture. For culture. No, no, no. That is shirin. Don't be shirin. No, se ten dando copia. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, what about you, Laura? What do you remember? Eh, what is the, eh, the Maria Elena? What is the person you would make, make first after arriving some, somewhere new? Eh, is answer. Uh, your family, this uh, her mom, mom. <laughs> her, her family too, her family too. Yes. No, no, your family. You are ah, telling okay. me my, my family, no, my family. Ah, no, your family. <laughs> no, Maria no, no, no. Maria Elena, her, her family, <laughs> her family. <laughs> okay, her family. Okay, but not my family. No. <laughs> Okay, Escobar, tell us. Uh, uh, Laura and Maria Elena, about. Ah, you are the same. Uh, what, in, in the, the first question, what country would you like to live in? Mm, Laura said uh, Egypt, Egypt, or Egypt. Egypt. For the culture, her life visit the Sphinx, the, the pyramid. Um, in the other question, what country wouldn't you like to lie in? Maria Elena said Mexico. Her say is dangerous. Okay. Um, Remember the other question. <laughs> and I remember. Okay. Uh, well, how can I tell you this? In, in order that you report something that somebody said, uh, you don't need to read exactly the question. What I uh, what I'm seeing is uh, the way that you organize your ideas. For example, somebody can say in my group. Uh, I was talking with, uh, for example, Escobar and Laura. Escobar said that he would like to live in this place and visit this and Laura this. They want to go there because this. And you know, it's like uh, making a composition in writing. It is the same like in speaking that you need to organize in a, in a really good way your ideas. And that is the point, that is the point, but don't worry about it. Okay, you are you are in the way. Okay, yes, and you said. Hi, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. And my partner is Diana. Okay. And, and she said about the country will, will she likes okay uh, she she likes live in in Canada oh, okay. she Canada has a very opportunities like new opportunities also landscape and Uh -huh. And also, she said about the country she know she don't don't like to live. She said don't like to live at Venezuela. She doesn't like to live in Venezuela. Doesn't like to live in Venezuela. She doesn't like to live in Venezuela because it's very hard to live in this country for the poli poli political. 
political issues that, that the country has now. Okay, I got fine. Let us let us see, uh, Diana. What uh, can she tell us about? About Yesenia? Yes. Okay, Yesenia said me that uh, she would like to live in Canada also. Ah. So, uh -huh, we will live together. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, you are, going to, you are going to share expenses and bills, okay? Uh, because she likes the landscape and the snow. Uh, the country that she wouldn't like to live is uh, Saudi Arabia because in this country the women don't even have don't have a right. Okay. Uh, and okay. The, uh -huh. Also, she said me that the person she most likes to go abroad is his her son, and the something that she will never travel without is her son. Okay. You, who's missing? Who's missing? Somebody's missing. When? What about you, Wendy? Do you share your info with us? Only, only a question. One question. Uh, Maria Concepcion. She stick to like um her she she won't live in Spain Spain. She would like to live in Spain. She would like she would like to live in Spain. Yes. Okay. Hurry up because uh if you go uh, after June, you need to have visa. Right now, you don't need visa. You can travel. No, no, no need visa. Right now, you can do it with your passport. But after June 24, I guess, uh, you are going to need visa to get into Spain. And if, if somebody is looking to travel to Canada right now, if you got a... Uh, uh, touristic visa, you can travel it and switch it into a into a worker visa too. You see, it is easy. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this activity. I don't know what can you tell me about it. Did you enjoy it or not? Mm, I don't get any answer. Yes, it was it was interesting. Okay, it, it is a good way that you can uh, express what you know. Suddenly you face uh, the situation that you don't remember or you don't know a word. And in and, and that moment you realize that you need to learn more vocabulary. Okay, let us go back to our topic. I'm sorry. Okay, right now you are going to, okay, I remember I show you this. Let me see where I have it. Okay, hold on a second. You are going to work in teams and let me go back and show you the specific information that I want to chat with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got it here. Okay, uh, 
you are going to work in pairs and you are going to think about the distribution needs for a successful international company. And also you need to think of their possible need and prepare an oral presentation. But in this case, if you want, you can use a PowerPoint or another tool that you consider. And there you are going to sketch a basic plan to select a CPL provider. And also, I need that you include phrases to express uncertainty that we already started. I don't know if you have any questions or problem here in order to, to start working uh, in the activity. Question? Hello. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, I, I want to be sure that you understand all the interactions. So please let me know. Tell me. Everything is clear or not? Or maybe my microphone is not working properly and you don't got the message. Okay. En español se comprende qué es lo que vamos a hacer. My goodness, my microphone maybe, or what is happening? No teacher. Ah, okay, tell me. I was, no, I I was uh, really worried about. No. It is clear or not? Tell me, please. Not teacher. No? Okay, in pair, think about the distribution need of a successful international company. Las necesidades que tiene una compañía internacional exitosa de distribución, pensemos en eso. And also think of their possible need and prepare an oral presentation pensando en las posibles necesidades. Preparemos una presentación oral enfocándonos en un plan básico para poder seleccionar un proveedor, un 3PL incluyendo frases que expresen eh, incertidumbre, algo que no está eh, bien claro. Ahora sí. Oh, tell me. Okay, let me, let me see. How many people do I have? I'm going to recreate the groups. Okay, here we go. Any questions so far from here before we go to the breakout room? No question, okay.
Teacher, we don't, don't finish. Only begin. <laughs> Didn't finish? No, teacher. Uh, we confuse because are... don't sure if a contract uh, food service or uh, maybe a uh, distribution trucks. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know. I explain it in English and then in Spanish. I ask you, do you have any questions so far from here? Anybody say anything about? I don't know, but, but the interaction is clear. But let us yes. see maybe, maybe some example, maybe uh Okay, let me go back. I'm going to show you again. Okay, in pair, think about the distribution need of a successful international company. Think of their possible need and prepare an oral presentation, sketching a basic plan to select a CPL provider. Include phrases to express uncertainty. What is your question? Um, the company um, we talking about Kimberly Clark, but but we discussing uh, for consultation a food service or um, distribution trucks. Okay. Okay, let us share yes, what, you, what you have. I don't know if you, if you want to, to share something, you are able to do it. Or somebody else can do it. Okay, somebody wants to do it. Hello. Okay, maybe you take in, uh, you took into account that the location of the warehousing because uh, what the first thing that you need to do is just to study the need of the company. Something else maybe could be the equipment that uh, the company needs. the different aspect, you know. Let me see what you have. Okay, volunteers, let us see what you have. Anybody?
when we talk about distribution need, what do you understand about? Imagine that you are thinking in a company that it is in El Salvador, but uh, the company need to send the product to another countries like Spain, United States, and so on. At the moment that you are uh, thinking in, in that need, uh, something else comes to your mind. How you are going to do uh, as soon as this product uh, get there? How you are going to deliver it to, to the right place? And based on that, uh, you, you are going to think how you are going to select a CDPL provider there or maybe here, it, it's up to you, all the pen. That is the point, but I don't know if you got my idea and even the interaction that we have in the material. But it's not okay. You didn't got the, the instruction or what happened? Uh, in our case, we didn't add the, the let me see, the phrases of presented. Ah, okay. May I ask to add it? Okay, don't worry. Uh, we are going to start with this activity tomorrow. Because we are uh, so close to finish. And I invite you to read the material. Um, and that way you are going to have more uh, information related with this topic. And tomorrow you can share the ideas. Okay. Adriana is not here, okay. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian Reyes. Ana Lilian. Escobar. Present. Selena. Present. Diana. Present. Eric. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Jose Jonathan. Present, Mr. Okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mayra Veralice. Zaira Marlene. Misael. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Yesenia Suleima. Jenny Suleima, perdón, and Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Le cambié el nombre otra vez. Okay. Otra vez. I'm sorry to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. This is uh, class number 13, Maria Elena. Maria Elena Guadalupe. I don't know if you have time in order to. Stay at the end of the class? Yes, teacher. Okay, don't worry about it.
Okay, uh, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, try to read and get more ideas about the topic, okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bless you. Okay, Maria Elena, we are waiting. Hold on a second, please. Hold on. We take to classmate um, one classmate. Okay, here we go. I don't know what can you tell me about. So I don't know if you have any questions or problem here or a comment or something like that. <laughs> For everything, all the module. <laughs> all the module. Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe. For maybe. the. For the uh, for my job and. No, I don't know. Two, three months. Um, the schedule is very occupied. Very busy, very busy. Very busy. Um, for example, I am heard you heard in the class, and I am dipping <laughs> something or make report or help. Um, someone partners and is very busy these months. Okay. It's difficult too because uh, the topics I no idea in Spanish, in English, <laughs> and the uh, maybe, maybe also the vocabulary, uh, because I remember we are using technical vocabulary. For that reason is why I, I've been telling you that, uh, I've been telling you that you need to create uh, your own vocabulary. That way you are going to understand the paragraph, the concept related with the topic. And that way you are going to understand it. Maybe. And, 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 In, and maybe for that reason, when I ask uh, that somebody read it, uh, maybe for that reason, uh, they don't want to do it because they have to. Okay, but remember, this is a module number four, intermediate level. And it's necessary to learn new vocabulary. Every class, you need to create a list of new words, and that way you are going to start using it. I am, okay, it is for next. You are E for next week. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. What about the activity I... that I assign you today? What happened? Ah, uh, we 
la hora no, no, no estaba. The last activity. Yes. Uh, we discussing about um, EPL, EPL, and we take two. Okay. Options. Mm, the first is a uh, food service, but we discussing about um, this is no GPO and later. Okay, okay. The first thing that you need to do is this. Lo primero que necesitaron hacer es identificar como una compañía X exitosa. Ah, y fue Kimberly Clark. Y sus necesidades de distribución. Cuando ya ustedes vieron las necesidades de distribución, entonces iban a pensar en un plan de cómo poder contratar un CPL para alcanzar todos esos canales de distribución que la compañía no ha podido alcanzar. Ah, pues por ahí nos trabamos, porque primero pensamos en un servicio de alimentación, pero ajá, vimos que no, no aplicaba. Entonces sí, pensamos... Es que, mm. Sí, por eso preguntaba si habían opciones, porque ahí habla muy claro y dice que identifica en las necesidades de distribución de una compañía exitosa. Ajá, no aplicaba. Entonces después pensamos en, en camiones o en alquiler de camiones, pero no, no sabíamos cómo. Sí, pero es que, pero no es que igual, más... sí, vuelvo es que... a lo mismo. Eh, lo primero que había que identificar era la compañía y las necesidades de la compañía. Entonces, ya teniendo eso, entonces habría que agregarle un, valga la redundancia, un valor agregado, es eh, decir, otras empresas que eh, puedan ayudar al contratarlas a alcanzar los objetivos al, eh, que se persiguen. Ah, pero ahí nos trabamos. Pues no, eso. pero ya, ya le clarifiqué con. Ojalá nos podamos poner de acuerdo mañana en algún momento para sí. terminarlo, porque sí es como. Ah, y que también quiero ver qué era lo que decía, que ocupáramos la frase, ¿verdad? Sí, también. Using the phrase. Ahí está la instrucción en la página 22 del manual. Yes, I am, I am a screenshot. Ok. But this module is difficult. <laughs> May, maybe because of the topic. Yes, I yeah. am thinking this and, the, and vocabulary. And then the new vocabulary and terminology. For that reason, I continue inviting you to get or to look it up all the words that you don't understand in the dictionary. La but única the, forma. Vaya, pero, por ejemplo, um, book no todas, pero busco algunas en el diccionario y las tengo en mi cuaderno. Y entiendo lo que dice, pero no... Por ejemplo, yo ubico una compañía exitosa, Kimberly Clark, y nos ponemos a pensar en qué, en qué necesitan ellos, pues distribuir las cosas que producen, digamos a más lugares tal vez. Y pensamos en, un, en, en, en algo que, que, que venda o la, el servicio de... De, de camión en verdad con sus conductores y todo eso pero como no es un, un negocio que sepamos cómo funciona no tenemos idea de, de, de cómo qué es lo que tendrían que, que preguntar para hacer ese plan eh, de co contratación digamos de, para ese tripio no, no ajá, y a pesar de que hayan palabras que más o menos <ríe> o que la podamos buscar en el diccionario o sea, ni en español. <risa> es, es como bien difícil. Es que ahí, lo que sucede, ahí lo que sucede es que estamos aplicando la logística. Y hay compañías que se encargan de, de transporte, de, de fletes, eh, para diferentes áreas. Usted ve, por ejemplo, eh, hay una que no me recuerdo el nombre, pero que es muy conocida, que es eh, la que transporta... Eh, 
diferentes productos de, desde Costa Rica. Aquí cerca de mi casa están, un, ¿cómo que se llaman estos? Linares. Sí, entonces hay diferentes empresas que, que ellos ofrecen sus servicios. Ellos tienen Ay. la logística para llevar todo eso al lugar correcto. Y basado Ay, en ahí. eso, basado en eso, que van a estar en el, en el, en el right time, en el right place, uh, you are going to have the right price too. Y ahí aplicamos la 7R. Ay, eso entonces era lo que... <risa> Ajá, sí. Es que también se va se, mezclando se, lo que... Se, se, se da cuenta cómo se, re, se relaciona todo lo que hemos visto. Ah, ah pues hasta ahí no, a ninguna se nos ocurrió mezclarlo con eso. Sí, al momento de, de, de ver las necesidades... Ajá, pero pero sí también se pudo haber hecho de, 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 desde otra óptica, ahí depende, pero ahí habría que usar la creatividad para crearlo. Sí. Pero lo más importante es que hay que leer una y otra vez para lograr comprender lo que se está haciendo. Ok. Ok. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta o duda. No, bueno, sí, pero no. <risa> o sea, sí, es un montón, pero o sea, al final se redunda en que hay que ir a leer y, y aprender más vocabulario y estudiar lo, los, las clases anteriores, porque hay algunas en las que la primera semana no estuve. Entonces, ah. también, como o no estuve o estaba solo oyendo y, y medio oyendo. Hay que ver los vídeos y ahí está la información, el número de páginas de, de la información y con eso le va a ayudar. Ajá, pues le digo, sí tengo, pero tengo tarea, un montón de tareas. Sí, yo sé que tiene mucho trabajo. Pero bueno, no hay, tan... hay que hacer un, un doble esfuerzo. Ya, ese es como el estrés que es ocho, profe. Sí, pero ya falta poco, ya terminando mañana solo nos quedan, ¿qué? ¿Cuántas semanas? Dos. Dos. Sí. sí okay, hay, que hacerle, hay que hacerle, hay que hacerle. <risa> sí. Bueno, pues, bye bye. See you. Take care. Take care, you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.